John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hello, my name is John Alzheimer. I am a consumer credit expert. 30 years in the credit industry, I spent time at FICO, the credit scoring company, and Equifax, which is one of the three generally recognized credit reporting agencies. And today, I'm going to talk about Experian Boost. And specifically, we're gonna kind of dig into Experian Boost, talk about the benefits of Experian Boost. One of the questions I hear a lot is, hey, does it really work? Is it worth it? Can I, should I do it? Is it really free? And so I'm gonna answer all those questions today and talk a little bit about Experian Boost. So what is Experian Boost? Well, <laughs> unless you don't have a television or you never go online, you probably have heard about Experian Boost or have seen the ads from Experian promoting their service called Boost. So obviously Experian is one of the three generally recognized credit reporting agencies, right? With Equifax and TransUnion, Experian is one of the big three. And Boost is a free service. And when I say, look, for those of you who have ever seen me speak before, I don't say free and then really mean something else. When I say free, I mean Webster's actual definition of the word free, meaning that you're not gonna need a credit card or any sort of method of payment when you sign up for it, if you sign up for it, because there's no bill, you're not gonna get a bill, there is no, there is no charge. So free actually means Webster's definition of free when I say it. Boost is a free service whereby you can sign up and if you are making certain payments on utility style accounts, using one of your bank accounts, then you can actually connect the bank account through a company called Finicity to Experian to essentially cause those utility style accounts to appear on your Experian credit report, your actual valid real Experian credit report. When that occurs, any credit scoring systems that consider utility style accounts, and not all of them do, so this is gonna be one of the important things we're gonna talk about. If a credit scoring system is run on your Experian credit report that has been boosted with certain types of utility style accounts, that particular credit score may actually go up as a result. So let's talk a little bit about how this works. I signed up for it. I actually took the consumer experience when Boost became a reality a couple of years ago. My score went up six points. So that, you know, I'm, I was very happy with the experience. According to Experian, people see an average increase of 12 points in their FICO 8 credit score. So this is important that they make a very specific identification of the FICO 8, the eight, the, you know, the generation referred to as FICO 8. There are actually two newer versions of FICO, FICO 9 and FI what's called the FICO 10 suite, which actually includes FICO 10 and something called FICO 10T. So any credit score that is calculated off of your Experian credit report using FICO 8 or any newer version of the FICO score will see and consider the utility style accounts that have been added to your credit report through Boost. Any FICO scores that are older than FICO 8 will not because they are not programmed to see and consider utility style accounts. And so while cosmetically the accounts are still there, they're not having any influence in your credit score. So, so just keep that in mind. And, and this is important, especially for mortgage lending because mortgage lenders are required because of FHFA mandate to use much older versions of the FICO score that would not be influenced at all by any utility style accounts. And so that's something that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. Vantage score as well. So the versions that are currently being used, commercially available and in, in, in use today, do see and consider utility style accounts. And so if you were to sign up for Boost, add some of these utility accounts to your, your Experian credit report, you would likely see a higher score in your Vantage score and also in any FICO score that's version eight or newer. So it's good news. So look, 12 points, that's nothing to sneeze at, right? I'll take 12 points. I think most of us would take 12 points for free by doing nothing more than just connecting 
the utility style accounts that you're already paying for that you get no credit for because they're generally not on a credit report, you can connect them through Boost. So that's all the good stuff, right? I'm gonna tell you some stuff that's not bad. It's just something that you should consider um, if you wanna do this. First off, you actually have to make these payments on your phone, your utility style accounts, and even your Netflix account. But you have to make these payments through a bank account. So in other words, if you're paying with, with a credit card, or if you're, geez, if you're like my parents and they're still mailing checks to companies to pay for things, then you're not gonna be able to add it to your Experian credit report because you have to be making the payment to them through a bank account, like drafting the payments or pay, making online payments to these companies through a bank account. So that's number one, is you have to actually be making payments on these types of accounts through a bank account. And then what you're gonna do is you can actually connect that bank account through this third party called Finicity to Experian, and then it shows up on your credit reports as a utility style account. The one thing that you probably have not heard me mention yet is the other two credit reporting agencies. And of course we have TransUnion and Equifax, okay? If you add accounts to your Experian credit report through Boost, that's not gonna do anything for your TransUnion and Equifax credit reports, right? Because the three companies don't share databases, they're competitors and they all maintain independent databases. So any credit scores that are calculated off of your TransUnion and Equifax credit reports are not going to benefit from your participation in Boost because Boost is an Experian only service. So that's something that you're gonna to wanna to at least consider. I don't know that that's, it's not a deal killer, not for me anyways. Again, I don't, even, I don't consider that bad news. I just wanna make it clear so that you have reasonable expectations as to what's gonna happen if you were to go through the, the process of signing up for Boost. So the other issue is one that we've kind of touched on already is if you do apply with a lender that is using a version of the FICO score that's older than FICO 8, which is gonna be all mortgages, and you run into other lenders that happen to be behind the times and are using really old credit scoring systems, A, they're gonna to have to pull an Experian credit report, and when they do, they'll see the, the, all these boost style accounts that are added, but the credit scores that are calculated are not going to benefit because they're, they're just simply too old. You can ask them what version of FICO they use. You're gonna get a crazy response because you're asking them a question that they've never been asked before and they probably don't even know the answer to the question. Most of the kind of what I would call mainstream sophisticated lenders are using newer credit scoring systems, FICO 8, FICO 9, versions of Vantage Score that do consider utility style accounts and it's gonna be a non-issue. But again, if you apply with a bank and that bank pulls an Equifax credit report, it's not, you're not gonna get any benefit. So again, these are just things to consider if you're, if you're thinking about signing up for Boost. You can always change your mind if you have signed up for it and boosted your Experian credit report with your utility style accounts. And you're like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm done. I, I wasn't happy with the results or I'm not comfortable giving that level of information out. You can always disconnect it and turn it off. It's actually very uh, consumer friendly. So keep that in mind as well. If you have any questions about Boost, or anything regarding credit reporting or credit scoring, drop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.